This morning, a Huntsville native is back in Oregon. That's where he now lives after he spent weeks on the front line in California fighting those massive wildfires. Here's a picture of Zach McMahon. He took it while passing through what is left of Paradise, California. McMahon was working in Oregon as a wildland firefighter when he was called in to help fight the camp fire. He spent two straight weeks there on the front line. We had the opportunity to speak with him via Skype as he described for us his experience. It was almost like seeing a tornado had gone through there, but instead of a tornado, it was just fire. So everything there was just charred, and there's nothing left but burnt remains of what was the town. McMahon said he and his fellow firefighters are back in Oregon, but they've been placed on standby and told. Get ready to go back if we need you. And Way 31 is getting a better look at the devastation left behind by the wildfires throughout the state, specifically in Butte County, California. As of Tuesday night, the state reported two more bodies were found. And that brings the total number of dead from the Camp Fire to 81, with 84 deaths total statewide. These fires are officially the deadliest in California history. And as of this morning, neither the Camp Fire nor the Woolsey Fire near L.A. are completely contained. Authorities are asking anyone whose loved ones are still missing to submit a DNA sample. Right now, approximately 700 people remain unaccounted for, but only 60 relatives have come forward with DNA samples.